Hello there, I think it's about time that you realise something. Every time you say, I don't deserve recovery, you're condoning that other people don't deserve recovery. Every time you say, I want my eating disorder, you're condoning that other people want their eating disorder. And every time you say, I want to kill myself, and I deserve to kill myself, and I should be allowed to kill myself, in a way, you're condoning that other people should be allowed to kill themselves. Here's the explanation. By saying you deserve every single illness that you have and every single mistreatment you give yourself, you're effectively saying that people can be so bad that they deserve that, and that you're one of them. Which is funny seeing as everybody else thinks the same. By literally thinking, logically, in your head, that somehow everybody else deserves recovery and you're the one that deserves hatred, every other person who believes everyone deserves recovery and that they deserve hatred thinks that that's allowed. We're feeding into it by saying, I deserve this pain, but none of you guys do. Every other person is looking at themselves individually and thinking, yeah, but I've done things worse than that person, so that means I do actually, and nobody else does. Fact. Nobody deserves this shit. And it's really hard to believe it, because you constantly hear these things that say it, but you just, it flies over your head. Like, I remember a few years ago, somebody said to me, look, why are you the exception? You know, you hate yourselves, yourself, and you think everybody else deserves recovery but you. Why are you the exception? Because every one of those people think that as well. Everybody has their own different reasons for thinking that they don't deserve to get better. Whether it's because they did something wrong, that they're doing something wrong, that they don't like their own personality, whether they just think they don't deserve anything because that's the way that other people have made them feel, whether they've experienced trauma, anything. They think that they're the one bad person who doesn't deserve, deserve recovery, and they think that they're the one bad person who doesn't deserve life, who deserves pain and, and an illness and self-harm and basically self-destruction, they think that they deserve that and nobody else does. And we're all feeding into it. And you know what? Nobody does. And you have to think, not even you. You personally feel like that you don't deserve recovery. I hope I said that right. But don't take that as a fact. You cannot say to someone, I don't deserve recovery. You need to start changing that because then you're going to feed into their, I don't deserve recovery because I'm worse than you. You're just feeding into it. We're all feeding into this strange belief that we all have and it's completely wrong. What you're allowed to say in my books is you can say, I feel like I don't deserve recovery. Because a feeling, totally allowed. That's the way you feel. You're wrong and everything, but that's the way you feel. And that's a fact. You genuinely feel like that. But it's not a fact that you don't deserve recovery. It's a fact that you feel it. And you need to remember this because when you're saying, I don't deserve recovery because I'm a horrible person, I don't deserve it, I do horrible things, I've done horrible things, I feel disgusting, I feel this, that and the other. Everybody around you who is struggling is going to think that exact same thing because they're going to be looking at you and because self-judgment is your own worst judgment, you know, your self-criticism is your own worst enemy, they're all going to be looking at you and thinking, but I'm worse than that person. And I've had people look me straight in the eye and go, no, it's not that I feel it, I know I deserve this hatred, I know. I deserve this pain. Well, I do too. So does everybody else. And we're all feeding into it. And what you need to start thinking is every time you say, I don't deserve recovery, I deserve pain, I deserve death, I don't deserve for you to care about me, they'll be thinking exactly the same. And I think that's so important to remember because we're all just feeding into it. You're condoning that that's a way to think. You're condoning that somebody has actually done so much wrong that they deserve that? Look, because <laughs> chances are all of you would help anyone if they could. I mean, if you're watching this video right now, you care. You, you care enough about something to be watching this video right now. <laughs> bad people, in general, never think that they're a bad person. So... You've already proved yourself wrong. That's my cue to leave. Please, please stay strong. This was just a small little video. Sorry I repeated myself a lot. Bye bye!
Hey guys, thought I'd do a proper outro to that video. Thank you so much for watching it. I really hope that you maybe take a little bit of what I say to heart, but please don't take offence either. If you liked it, please subscribe below. Please, please, please leave a comment. I always appreciate it. And if you think I need one, give me a thumbs up. Also, there's my Twitter and Tumblr below in this description as well. And my Tumblr, you don't even need to follow me. You don't even need to have an account to look at it. And you can actually ask me a question anonymously, um, again, without even having an account, if you click the ask me anything. So, thank you. And when I say stay strong, I mean stay strong.